What's up guys, it's Mauricio Cardinal from Roofing Marketing Pros and today I'm examining Centimark. I want to examine their AdWords campaign and see what they're doing online. And the reason why I'm examining uh, ad, uh, Centimark is because according to Roofing Contractor Magazine, uh, Centimark generated close to $540 million in revenue in 2016. And 100% of their revenue comes from the commercial side. So it's very important to understand what the most successful companies are doing online to get an understanding if you can model their or replicate their success. Now, a lot of I found a lot of uh, positive things that they're doing online, and also a negative a lot of negative things that you should avoid when doing an AdWords campaign. And the reason why I'm examining an AdWords campaign is because a lot of the top commercial contractors are actually uh, spending millions of dollars on AdWords and. These are not even the top companies that are spending the most. Uh, companies like I'm sure you heard of Home Advisor are spending close to $2 million a month just on AdWords alone to generate leads. So what I do is I use a tool called ISPinage and this tool allows me to get, get a look at under the hood and what they're doing online. So if I look at the domain, I look at what they're doing PPC wise and SEO wise. So according to ISPinage, uh, they're spending about between four thousand dollars and eleven dollars a month. This is what they this is what they spent last year. I mean last month. I'm not sure how how accurate this number is, but just gives you an idea of what kind of money they're spending online, and see if you can uh, actually replicate what they're doing. So let's see. Uh, what, uh, let's take a look at the user's journey, and see what they what they're doing. So when somebody types in on Google commercial flat roof, they're they're, they're driven to this ad copy. So they see an ad at the top of the search results. Uh, when they see this ad copy, take a look at the commercial roofing pair. It's a very simple ad. Uh, it doesn't contain any benefit, no call to action. Uh, there's no contact number, so nobody knows how to call. So if somebody can just kind of call it right away. So it's a very simple, basic ad. Uh, the reason why this can work is because Centimark is a brand name. A lot of people know uh, Centimark in this space, so they know who they're calling when they see the ad. Uh, and so let's take a look, look at the way they can improve because the way an ad copy can uh, the best way to do is to highlight the benefits of your ad and pr provide a specific call to action so when writing an ad is best to use this formula so the headline description line one description line two and display URL so if you look at the headline you include the keyword in your inner headline this can be a lot of different keywords that you're bidding on depending on what you're looking for uh, in this case, it's commercial flat roof. Uh, I don't even see the uh, actual the uh, the keyword on the headline, which is a big no-no. Second thing, the description line. You have to talk about the benefits and the features. Here, I just see commercial roofing repair. Just describes the 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 service, but doesn't really describe the benefits or or the features on this. And, and also the call to action. There is a call to action, so that is a positive. Contact us for a free estimate. And what they want to do is drive you to this web page, uh, which is uh, I'll examine uh, in a little bit right now. And then the display URL just gives you the the keyword and the display URL. So it's a lot of things that are going on in this ad that I think they can improve on. So when you look at an ad that's doing well, so let's see if at one of their ads. So these are one of the ads we're running in our campaign. If you see the ad, is you see the commercial roofing. El Paso, that's the keyword, and you see the benefit right away, 50 years lifetime. Uh, you see the service, the features, and the benefits as well. And you also see the call to action right here, call us now for free estimates. So you see the difference between that ad and the other ad. Uh, this ad is most likely to get clicked on than the other ad. It has the benefits, the features, and also a call to action. Uh, so I'm sure that hopefully this, this gets, gets through and has a lot of good information for you guys. Now, let's take a look at the landing page. So this is not really a landing page. If you click on the URL, let's go click on this, uh, open a new window. Uh, it's really a web page and it's not really a landing page. And I'll explain why you should never send uh, Google AdWords traffic to a web page instead of a landing page. And the main reason is because a web page is supposed to contain a general information on your on your home business on your business so contain general information on your business it's, it's supposed to be like an online brochure a uh, landing page contains specific information on a specific topic and the whole goal of a landing page is generate conversions uh, on AdWords the best way to generate conversions is to generate a phone uh, inbound phone call why is that 
is because an inbound phone call has a thousand percent higher chance of closing compared to any other type of lead. So what they want to do is generate here for these guys a, a form lead, which can be very beneficial, which is good, but it's not as good as an inbound phone call. And I explain how that works and everything. So there's a lot of good things with this uh, web page. The best thing is it has a video uh, on the web page. Uh, having this video on the web page is shown to increase conversion. Uh, when people see a video of you of your business, uh, people see who you are, how you can help them out, and it really generally increases conversions. Uh, this is a pretty well-made video if you look at the video. But the big negative with this is that it's just general information. So when some, somebody clicks on this, they're just driven to all parts of the uh, of the page, and they can find all locations. So it's not really a focused design. They can actually click on all these different parts, so it's really confusing for the first-time person. Um, so here on contrast here's a well-designed landing page that's a very similar niche is a an industrial and commercial roofer so you see when somebody lands on this page as you see the brand name you see the the big letters with the phone number uh, this drives people to call this number right away and you see the the keywords are here the benefit driven copy what they do who they serve and how they can help them out and you see the certifications the Patriot roofing, the slat roofing, all these different things they can help them, all the warranties, all the different types of roofs they offer. You see how well designed this landing page it gets, provides a portfolio. And really the whole goal of this page is to here, to get them to either fill out this form or call them right away. And if you see on this thing, that you should actually click to call. They can actually click the call when somebody uh, lands on this landing page. So. The thing, the key thing with this landing page, it has two things: it has benefit-driven copy and a conversion-focused design. One thing I would add with this landing page is that there's no really trust factors. Uh, there's no testimonials. Uh, I would add a couple video testimonials or even a text testimonial. Uh, it just, it just uh, it shows to increase conversion rates. So it's one thing I would do to increase this landing page. But this is a pretty well-designed landing page, and really with the person. Uh, when they land this landing page, the whole goal is to generate an inbound phone call. So let's uh, take a look at what other things they're doing online. So this is the center mark, the landing page URL, and these, these are some of the keywords they're, they're ranking for. Top keywords for center mark, uh, how to repair a leak in the roof, roof hail damage, uh, metal roofing solutions, EPM roofing. So all these keywords are, uh, they're trying to look for, they're trying to rank for. And let's see at something that I want to show you really quick. These are all the ads that they're they're showing. Uh, Centermark, uh, roofing of players. It's really general information. And the monthly traffic to this ad, it gives you all this good information you can look at. And all these different ads that they're searching for. Now, let's look at the competitors. I want to show you this real quick. Uh, if you see Home Advisor here, they're the biggest comp competition. As you well know, these guys really they sell leads to other companies, and they're spending about, according to IES Menage, uh, at least a million dollars on online on a monthly basis. Now I, I'm gonna show you guys uh, Fisher Roofing New York. These guys are spending you know over ten thousand dollars a month on on keywords. So let's look at this and look at these guys. They shovel to roofing. So if you click on them, I'll just give you a click on what they're doing online. They're spending about they're spending about ninety three thousand to two hundred thousand dollars a month, and look how many keywords they're bidding for hundreds of keywords. So they're they're spending big money on on on, on ads, and they also do uh, commercial and residential uh, roof replacement and roof repair. So these guys are are spending a lot, and I mean nothing compared to Home Advisor, but just give you an idea of what they're doing online. And some of the landing pages they're they're offering. So if you look at Home Advisor, Sear Home Services, uh, Home Depot. So just give you an idea of uh, what Centermark is doing. Uh, they have a brand recognition, so I'm sure they can afford to spend uh, really a lot of money online and not really get dinged. Um, they're spending about ten thousand dollars on PPC a month. Uh, that's about uh, one hundred twenty thousand dollars a year. If they get you know three or four jobs from that, uh, and those jobs are a hundred thousand dollars or more, it's it's paying more than than when they're in adequate information. So I'm sure they're getting more than that. I'm sure they're getting a few leads, uh, 
uh, lots of leads actually from this but they're not really doing a great job on optimizing their conversions and not really getting an inbound phone call uh, just to, I hope you find this uh, video helpful if you guys have any questions just let me know uh, and uh, we'll, we'll see you in the next time thank you